Okay, uh, taking a short break of, like, maybe five minutes from, from our usual bit of Illusion of Gaia to do the Destiny beta, because, uh... I'm a whiny bitch and wanted to do this forever. Yeah, blame, blame Jin for this one. Well, hey, if not... I was perfectly fine watching our anime do... Our anime teenagers stumble around across another continent. Hey, if you wanted to get around to recording it, we'd be doing that right now instead of this, okay? I had time. I took four hey, days off hey. of work to be the biggest piece of shit I could be. And I achieved it. I achieved it twice. You say that, but I'm pretty sure I actually spent more time playing, uh... Playing Super Robot Wars Z Z3. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't surprise me. All right, so one of the things that they do have going on is that you can have multiple play or multiple uh, characters running at the same time, so it's not like you have to start an entirely new character. I have w two warlocks, mean, both awoken, both female. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. What? This game has multiple save files. Yeah. Oh no. Holy shit! Hey, it's a step ahead of Watch Dogs, if that's the case. Yeah, and it's about equal with uh. The first Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I know. Moving up in the world. But at the same time, do you know what that game didn't have? What? A proper map. It's true. Let's not get into that one, though. I don't want to bring up the freaking forums. Hey, hey, hey. The Zelda map was hilarious and badass because it was just... you. Link was a tiny dot on a map. It's and true. you had to figure out how wide that dot was and where you had to go. Isn't that how... You had to get some fucking graph paper. Or in my case, I just went out and I bought the strategy guide for Link to the Past. Oh my god. Well, Dad bought the strategy guide. The planet Mars! I'd like to point out that there's the little Destiny symbol in there. The foot or the footprint. You mean this is the beta build? Holy shit. No, oh, no, 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 no. In the footprint that he stepped on the thingy. Yeah. Oh. I. Well, that just means that the Destiny come. They'll, fu they'll get a, to the end of the game, it'll be a 200 hour thing, as it turns out they'll just be a shoe company. Yeah, I'd, I'd be okay with that. I'd probably buy that. Your destiny will be to work in this sweatshop. <laughs> they're, they're going to, to... Hey, don't talk about my family like that. <laughs> oh my god. And M16. Yeah, I, I, I'm still confused about that. Like, what did they think they're going to run into? Um, some pretty hostile water molecules. Pro Duh. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, this is way after the curiosity... Mo Rover ended up, you know, on cylinders. Or, wow, cylinders. I am tired. Cinder blocks. I don't have enough Guinness. Yeah, get drunk. That'll make you more coherent. Oh, you're damn skippy, it will. <laughs> My cat's kind of staring at me with his eye just a little bit open, wondering Recorded why the hell I'm making so much noise in his trunk. bedroom. That is not and anything new. Changed us forever. Great cities were built on Mars and Venus. The men lived on Mars, the women, God Venus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Human lifespan tripled. It was a time of miracles. We stared out at the galaxy and knew that it was our destiny to walk in the light of other stars. Manifest destiny, it's already ours, just we have to go out and take and it. An enemy. White a people, darkness. am I right? Which had yeah, and then apparently darkness is coming for the white people. Space. Oh my god. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Fucking whitey. Kill whitey. That's that's the subtext. That's the overall game. message of Destiny. <laughs> this is secretly a Black Panther recruitment video. <laughs> but it was also a beginning. I do have to admit, I do like the way that like that guy reads it. Because it feels like it has a whole lot more weight to it. Like, when he says shit, I feel as though... <laughs> I have to admit, it's kind of funny, because I feel like I'm stumbling into the middle of, like, The Matrix Reloaded. Like, right at the end when he's talking to the architect, and he's just using all these big 600-point SAT words. Trying to explain, by the way, there have been, like, six Matrixes so far, and you are just a little sack of shit compared to me. I am the Colonel Sanders of computers, bitch. Yeah, well, he looked like the Colonel Sanders of that bitch. Yeah. I'd also, I'd also like to point out the only reason that comes to mind is because you recently watched it. Yeah. 
Because Still, otherwise, think I'd of repress a the fact that the second two movies actually exist, like I do with most, you know, sequels. Or it's like my dad says, it's it's a shame they never made a sequel to The Matrix, but Dad, what about The Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions? It's a shame they never made a sequel to The Matrix. <laughs> exactly. It's just bad fan fiction. And then Neo flew and cars gathered behind him. Exactly, because science and computers. Matri Neo was flying by here. That's why there are so many wrecked cars. Clearly. I, I do have to point out that I'm kind of confused by the fact that there was the Golden Age, but all of these vehicles look somewhat around the same time we are. Like, these actually look shittier than some of the cars that we see on the road now. Rust entirely discluded. I don't know. I live on the east side of my town, and there's some pretty shit cars over there. Do you live on the east side of it? I live on, like, the border of the east side, and two of my schools were on the east side, so... Yeah, you're... you're well, no, I'm, I'm not even going to take pot shots out of your school. Yeah. Don't even try that. Yeah, primary... My, was, my side of the town was the side of town that bought... That, uh, I was in that. All right, hold on. Like, shut this up. is how. This is how my. Real quick. Shut up. We're suddenly being born. This is the traumatic bit. Guardian. Eyes up, Guardian. <laughs> it worked. Don't pull out the urethra, Guardian. You're oh, alive. God. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I'm a ghost. Actually, now I'm. Great. Right, he followed me home, and I have and to keep you, him. Well, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. I'd be okay with that, actually. Didn't we joke about that originally, the entire cast of Ocarina of Time being voiced by uh, Peter Dinklage? Yes, and we I mentioned how that would be amazing. Just because the conversations between Navi and the Deku Tree would be just awesome. We need to move, fast. Verily, forsooth. I just... Fight the dark people, Link. <laughs> God, that sounds... They come from the desert, the... and they steal your the life like and your Let's trees. The walls. Turns out they just want the wind. Yeah. Spoiler alert for Wind Waker. Gandorf just really fucking wants the wind of Hyrule. Yeah, just on the off chance you haven't played that game since it came out how many years ago now? Eleven. Yeah. Almost twelve. Gotta feel. If you're in Japan, twelve. Yeah. Just in, just for you international viewers out there. <laughs> I didn't bring you back just for you to die again. We have to move. So. One of the things that ended up popping up on the Bungie forums, because I decided to jump on a forum, and that was the easiest one. Okay, I need to find yeah, out instead of jump, the joining the high class forum. Oh yeah, pinky up, motherfucker. I also didn't really <sighs> want to take the time bitch. to spend money to talk on a forum and realize that I am just a lowly, you know, console gaming peasant. Yeah, they keep to themselves. <laughs> Well, they keep it to themselves mostly because the only threads I visit are the Vita thread and the anime threads. Yeah, so the ones with neckbeards. No, no. We don't have neckbeards. We have incredibly worn out left wrists. We won't. <laughs> we need more light. I'll see what I can do. I do have to admit, I... Between you, you're this right. and the original gameplay reveal, I kind of prefer this one. Though I miss snarky Peter Dinklage. No, Snarky Peter Dinklage will be back. He'll, he'll show up once you hit level 10, and then he realizes that you're not just a straight-up piece of shit that needs to be guided by the hand. Alright. Time to go punch out on these bitches. Alright. No, so, no, fuck the rifle. Punch him. Oh, trust me, I punched shit. But you need to pick it up. No. Go gunbuster on these bitches. Come on. I would like to point out that when you aim down the sights, the glass on there is actually shattered. Well, not shattered. Cracked. And I really appreciate that. Like, the little details. That, and don't worry, I punch stuff a lot. It's like my panic God, button. Great. That's not a punch. Well, hey. That is a psychic push that is completely different. Okay, fuck off. I play it as a warlock. All I have is a psychic push. I, I don't get, I don't get, like, the long That is a, a lambda driver, not a rocket punch. That's right. What? Two giant robot references, both of which There's you don't understand. Yep. Uh, Keep it up. Totally in the dark for those. I am the superior person. Clearly. Come here, fuzz butt. You are the better neckbeard. Let's see what's inside. 
So, one of the things that they did do for most of the weapons, and by most I mean all of them, they gave, tried to give them interesting names. Don't touch and them. what was the one that you touch pointed the trip out? Mines. Touch the trip mines. Oh, trust me, the trip mines are touched. Just here and there. Yep, no, the starting shotguns are shit. Like, essentially, for the four lines is any indication. What's up? You. Plants. My experience of four lines is any indication. Future shotguns aren't gonna be much better either. Nope. It, it's one of those times where I really miss slugs. As opposed to buckshot, just because at the very least, slugs have a little bit of range. What's that like about rage? You can actually, like, build your own ammo. Yeah. And a lot of the time, you just stick to the stuff that made your. Shotgun fire rockets, cause you know. Why the hell not? Ro fuck a rocket launch. Fuck rocket launchers. Shot rock. A shoddy rocket. Yeah, exactly. A rocket shoddy or whatever the fuck. I don't know. You know, I know you said that as a joke, but a character in Code Geass is actually named Rock Shotta. That that sounds awesome and terrible at the same time. Well, she's she's Indian and okay, never mind. she she's she's mostly the uh, she's the uh, engineer the or professor then. that upgrades everyone's Just stuff. Just a little bit further. Right. Let's hope there's something left out there. So one of the arguments that did end up popping up at some point was whether or not it looks like Halo. Well, it's a shooter by this Bungie, so invariably it's gonna yeah, look like Halo. But like part of the, part of the argument that I actually had was it does look a little bit like Halo in the Incoming. sense that there's the really saturated colors that Bungie likes to put Fallen into ships. their games so the they surface. look a little bit more otherworldly like a good amount of Halo 2 was on what? Earth so it just looked brown yeah, and you were just running and boring around. So, so was Halo 3 you spent most of your time running around Africa yeah that's true but that was extremely green like that was disgustingly green like I almost yeah, it's wanted funny because most of the sci-fi stuff shows Africa just turning into a desert wasteland. That's yeah, true. I'm kind of glad that, you know, things are starting to turn around for them, as long as the aliens are invading. Yeah, aliens invading, shit starts getting nice. Humans start fighting amongst each other, well, let's get the desert all the way to the middle of the continent. Yep. By the way, at this point, I had entirely forgotten that I don't have glide anymore, so... There's a few times when I hop for no reason whatsoever. Glide is one of those abilities that I picked up, I think, either at the end of this one or at the end of the next video. And it's like a really shitty jetpack. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm slightly entranced by my cat trimming his nails. I'm, I'm glad you were taking this seriously. But, but, but Spook, it, 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 it's adorable when he's trimming his nails. This, this is and here I pay at least 80% attention to whatever on earth we're playing. You're, you're shooting mans. I don't shoot mans. When I looked away, you were still shooting mans. You leveled up. I'm you shot so many mans, you leveled up. It is true, I did level up. Could be I do enjoy the here. fact that w once you do get your super, when you level up, it automatically recharges. Unfortunately, you only start out with getting grenades. And it's kind of weird having that as... Not as a, like, collectible or, like, something that you pick up ammo for, but something that recharges. It's an ability. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out how that works out. Oh yeah, and then for the Well, it's like a it's a void machine. It's what was it? Like a void grenade yeah, or something void like grenade. that. It's essentially you I'm just assuming that you just generating it on your own cuz you're the warlock of the anime race. Yeah. Wait, were you there? Although I, I don't know, a lot of the grenades have similar abilities like one of the hunter ones that I saw frequently. You throw it, it lands and it see and then it when it goes off, it has a bunch of smaller spikes. And it seek out nearby enemies, which I think are snuck up and lambda driver those dudes pretty hard. Nah. See, that's the void grenade, and then that's also me. Oh, so it's Thor two. Yes. Except less fun. Yeah. Thor two turned them into little balls of dudes that got sucked into a black I hole. I have still not seen that movie. How have you not seen Thor 2? I was invited to go see it with chicken pox, and then I got called away There's to do ship. something, you know, Fair important enough. to my apartment instead. Right All before right. I was about to see it. But I did get a chance All to right. see Captain well, America for like do. the 47th time. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna watch that next time? We're watching that next time. Please. I'm okay with that. I'm bringing that and Gunbuster. 
You're gonna be getting some burly blonde dudes beating up aliens, and some burly anime girls beating up aliens. Alright, so I, I do want to point out a couple things. The floating dudes called Shanks, All right. essentially they are the ammo of bringers of, you know, this game. Like so what, they're like the... They spawn them every so often from like spider tanks, and when you shoot them, ammo comes out. They're like the best pinatas ever. Hasn't made a jump in centuries. We're lucky the fallen haven't completely picked it clean. Will it fly? Yeah. Not sure how I feel about your voice, actress. Yeah, I. That's what I thought the first time, and you know what? I'm okay with it because they don't speak all that often. Like that's and yet you'll still be treated as the greatest protagonist in the history of protagonists. Not really. You're treated as a group of I mean, people I mean, that are the greatest things amongst ever because... Well, no, no, no. I was making a joke about Master Chief consistently being listed as among the greatest video game protagonists of all time. Is, even though okay. all he does is he stands there stoically and he says four words. I, I'd like to point out that now, that changed in Halo 4 now, and now. I still didn't really know what to think of it. Just because for Halo 4 I looked at when... Yeah, I'm not sure what I think about him talking as much. Or at the very least, that whole wounded warrior thing doesn't really fly too well with him. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm used to, you know, develop protagonists like, say, any Final Let's Fantasy cast. That. Okay, so, Mysterious Hunter Person. I'm just going to go ahead and let you know right now, Episode 6, if we ever continue doing this until Episode 6, they pop up one more time. And that's all we know so far. And then, like, in pretty much every single trailer they have. Alright, so they have, like, detailed screens for, like, kills, assists, and all that. Well, yeah, it's Bungie. They have a certain amount. They just get the weirdest boner off of saying how many kills you manage to get in each way possible. Dude, I, I do love stats, though. I'm one of those people that likes numbers, even though I hate math. And yes. Really, I couldn't tell based off of your post on Facebook that was entirely beta numbers. It's true, but hey, infographics, man, infographics. Dude, if I wanted that, I would actually have paid attention in statistics, okay? Instead, you and I did? Um, I'm assuming masturbated profusely under your desk. I wish I did that. No. <laughs> I wrote out the... I farted my way through the class, then when the test came along, three months after I finished the class... I ended up writing out the entire lyrics to the Pokemon theme song on my AP test. Then I crossed it out because they can't score it if you do it like that. Well, good on ya. You. You, you, you did something. It didn't count against me. Yeah, exactly. You did something. And then I started listing off as many oh God, the Pokemon as I could remember. I got to about 150. Yeah. Not from the original entirely, from a lot of them. Fair and then I ran out of time. Fair enough. So... I do have a question about this whole thing, because I noticed that the tower is on the very edge of the city, and I figure it, one good strike kind of takes out everybody who's worth anything all at once. Oh yeah, but you have to, if you hit it from the outside, then the entire thing will tip over. It'll be kind of like that one scene in Lord of the Rings 2 Towers where they knock off the ladder and it takes out like 35 orcs. Yeah, fair enough. Or Urukai, sorry. Whatever. Welcome to the last safe city on Earth. The only place the Traveler can still protect. It took centuries to build. Now, we're counting every day it stands. Good god, your anime. And Believe it or not, for the Awoken, all of the hurt. hairstyles are exceedingly anime. I picked one that... I, was about to, I thought you were going to say that was exceedingly tame for an Awoken no, hairstyle. No, actually, no, it is. A lot of them are weird, like, angular mohawks. Like, they had to pick a hairstyle that would spite their parents. It, it, they're bad. They are pretty damn bad. Well, maybe an abusive alcoholic st stepfather will take them to get that fucking stuff shaved off. Dude, you can't make references to indie films. You <laughs> fucking hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was episode one. See you guys next time. Uh, bye. bye. Beta build. Beta build.